Something's happening. We've known it for a long time. The West knew it. It's a serious problem. America is addicted to oil. oil, oil. It's inconceivable to me that our children be able to maintain the American way of life and that the world won't be full of resource-based wars of all kinds. The East knew it. It will provide for a significant increase in the volume of foil supplies from Russia to China. We've known it for a century. There is no doubt about our absolute and complete dependence on oil. Without oil, civilization as we know it could not exist. Oil was running out. It's what we grew up in. Post Middle East, post peak oil, post everything what they called the long emergency. It started slow, little things at first, lines at the pump. That hot summer of 2008, when the blackouts started lasting weeks. The avian influenza hit in 09. I got taken out of school when there wasn't enough vaccine. They said it would get better, something would save us. Biofuels, solar power, cleaner nuke plants, maybe. The depression hit in 2012. Africa ran out of food, then we did too. People stopped trying to do anything about the problems and just tried to survive. We'd watched them starve for 40 years and it didn't seem real. But pretty soon the scenes we used to watch on the news were happening just down the street. It's been happening for years. Now, we're at the tipping point. I was 16 when the Chinese and the Russians figured out they'd rather fight us than each other. We didn't waste time forming the coalition. Now, we're staring each other down across the last wells in the Caspian. I left school for the affiliated press and they sent me overseas. Out here in Turkmenistan, you can see it clearer in the little prefab towns the oil boom left in Central Asia. This is where it's going to happen. In towns too small to have a name, built in two weeks by oil industry contractors. It's 2024, the 21st century. People ask me how we let this happen. I tell them, we always knew. The storm is coming. This is Command to Squad 21 Delta. You'll be relieving Alpha Company of their refinery patrol duty at 113 temporary. Sandstorms in the area have knocked out radio communications and have been interfering with our satellite coverage. Once you touch down, find a working radio frequency and get Alpha Company to give me a status report. Oh, and show some respect to the embedded reporter along for the ride. The coalition wants folks back home to know we're taking care of their energy needs. Try not to get too bored in that town, gentlemen. We'll be out of there in a couple of weeks. Command up. <laughs> You're in the 
Ground Rescue Coalition has been allowed to source 132 temporary. ETA, three minutes. Thanks for the update, Skipper, but I'm still waiting for my in-flight meal. <laughs> so, are you guys just rotating in? Ah, you must be the local paparazzi. Wise up, Rayleigh. Yeah, we're coming off disaster relief in Anchorage. We're being brought in to control the coalition's oil fields. Staff Sergeant Whitburn, Delta Chalk Leader. Andrews, uh, affiliated press. I'm doing a piece on all the military deployments in the Caspian. Gonna make you guys heroes. Too late for that, Pops. I was born a hero. Huh. A hero assigned to guard duty. Interesting. Coming up on the pipe. Welcome to summer camp, boys. You kidding me? They said there was a town. More like a mining camp. It's a dump. A uh, pretty valuable dump, then. Most of the world's remaining oil is about 100 miles from here. Is that so, Princeton? Well, then why don't... Oh, oh, shit! What the hell is that? Mayday! 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 Like the one...
is here to assist you. That target is hit. Behind the machinery, take him out! I'm here, you're here! 
Tower secure. Radar, we are picking up enemy infantry heading for your position. Prepare to defend yourself. Repositioning. Cut them down. Tower secure. 